Good day subscribers, new to YouTube viewers and friends. It's me Ranch and today I'm bringing you a deck showcase from the collection that I purchased a few weeks back. So I am not a blue white control player at all so this is this is completely new to me so forgive me if you know I miss out on a couple things or I don't feel that it's you know too decent or whatnot. Alright, so basically, this deck starts off with Venser. So, exile target permanent. You won't return it to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step for plus two. Creatures are unblockable for a minus one. And then minus eight, you get an emblem whenever you cast a spell. Exile target permanent. So, this deck's deck consists of two Vensers. And this deck seems to be very heavy on card draw, so. You'll see what I mean later. So, Consecrated Finks. Flying, so whenever an opponent draws a card, you draw two. A pair of those. Sphinx of War Isle. So, it's got Flying and Shroud. Look at the top card of your library. You can do it at any time for 5-5 five, five for uh, two blue and uh, four colors. It's a pair of them. And this deck cons will consist of... This section will... Four Sage Owls. So it's a flying 1 1 for 2. So whenever it enters the battlefield, you can look at the top four cards of your library and put them back in any order. Very fair. A single Cryptoplasm. So at the beginning of your upkeep, you may have Cryptoplasm become a copy of a target creature. If you do, it gains this ability. So it's a 2 2 for 3. So you know, copy their things. Same with Quicksilver Gargantuan, so it's a 7-7, seven, 2 seven, blue and 5 colorless, so when it enters the battlefield, um, it's a copy of any creature on the battlefield except it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Angelic Arbiter, 5 colorless and 2 white for 5-6, flying, each opponent who casts a spell this turn can't attack with creatures, and each opponent who attacks with a creature can't, this turn can't cast spells. And then Godhead of Awe. So it is a 5 hybrid white or blue casting cost for 4-4 four, four flying. And then other creatures are 1-1. One, one. So you know what? If they got big ones, you can limit them. And then we have a pair of walls. Wall of Reverence. So it's a 1-6 for 1 white and 3 colors. Defender with flying. At the beginning of your turn, you may gain life equal to the power of target creature you control. Pretty neat. And Wall of Denial is a good one too. Zero eight for uh, one colorless, one white, and one blue. So Defender flying with Shroud. Oops. And everyone's favorite Future Sight, which took a nosedive. So it is an enchantment. Three blue, two colorless. Top card of your light. You can play with the top card of your library revealed, and you can play it as though it was in your hand. Dissipation Field. So it's another, again, with the enchantments. Two blue and two colorless. So whenever a permanent deals a damage, return it to their hand. And then we have a pair of Psychosis Crawlers. So it is a star star for five. Uh, power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your hand. Whenever you lose it, whenever you draw a card, each opponent loses a life. Temple Ball. From M11. Three colorless artifact. Tap. Each player draws a card. A pair of Vencer's Journal. So uh, for those who don't know, it's a 5 casting cost artifact. You have no maximum hand size. And at the beginning of your upkeep, you may gain one life for each card in your hand. Another sorcery, Red of Replication. With a kicker, so uh, two blue and two colorless. The kicker of five, so put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of target creature. If it's been kicked, put five tokens. And then we have three sleeps. So uh, it's uh, sorcery for two blue and two colorless. Tap all creatures. Uh, target player controls those creatures. Don't untap during that player's next untap step. Really nasty. Pair of divinations. So another sorcery. Draw two cards for one blue, two colorless. And then three 
Serum Visions. So, pretty straightforward. Draw a card for one, and you can scry two. So look at the top two cards of your library. Yep. Put any number of them on the bottom of your library and the rest on the top in any order. And more instant speeds. Hindering light. So a uh, blue and a white. Counter target spell that player can... Uh, <clears throat> counter target spell that targets you or a permanent you control and you draw a card. And then some cancels, so... One colorless, two blue, target spell. And a blue sun zenith. So, X colorless and three blue target player draws X cards, shuffle blue sun zenith into his library. For the land, for the mana base, excuse me, starts off with a single celestial colonnade. So enters the battlefield, tap, tap to add one white, one blue, or for three colorless, a white and a blue. Till end of turn, Celestial Colonnade becomes a 4-4 white and blue elemental creature with flying and vigilance. Still land. And then a playset of Glacial Fortresses. A playset of Halimar Depths. So for those who don't know, enters the battlefield tapped. And when it enters the battlefield, look at the top three cards of your library. Put them back in any order. And then a pair of Esper Panam Panoramas. So tap to add one colorless, and then one colorless tap to ex uh, sac, sac it and uh, search your library for a plains or island, and then put it on the battlefield tab and then shuffle your library. And then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven islands, and then one, two, three, four, five planes. So, interesting deck. Um, not really my cup of tea, but it looks like it could really, you know, piss off some people. If you're a blue-white control fan. Obviously I'm not. But yeah, looks like it could be a little fun if you're playing against one of your friends and you really want to bug them. So... Thanks for watching this, guys. I'm not really big on decks and stuff like that. I'm not a good deck builder, and I've got a bunch to go through. So if you like this thing, let me know. Uh, leave a comment down below, and let me know what I can do better or whatnot. I'd appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully bring you some more cool stuff real soon.